Right now I'm going to grab one user's ID, in my case Jack, I'm going to grab his ID from the profile route, from the profile path, and then sign out and sign in with a new user that I've created called Jen. And then I'll go to profile and we'll see that for Jen, she's looking at her own profile, so she has the edit icon button to edit her profile, but if we change the end of the path and paste in Jack's ID, we should see our follow text. Now how do we replace this with an actual follow or unfollow button so that we can follow Jack in this case? First of all we want to create the button component itself. So we're going to within our components folder in profile click on the follow user component and we'll uncomment the import to button. Here we'll create a button using that component that we're importing. The variant for it will be contained. The color for now will be primary. And the text will be follow. So for now, let's just, within profile, import follow user from our components folder. And then from profile, follow user. And where we had our div with the text follow, we'll replace it with follow user. So when we save and head back, we should see a follow button. But of course, clicking on it doesn't do anything. We haven't added any functionality to it. We want to follow when we click on it to have the button change to unfollow if we're currently following a user, and then be able to go from unfollow to follow if we click it again. So first we'll need to keep track of whether our authenticated user is following the user whose profile we're looking at. So within component did mount, we're gonna do another check just like we did with is auth. We'll create a variable called is following, and this will be the return value of a function which we'll create called check follow. So we'll say this.check follow, and it'll accept our auth data as well as the user that we get back from the request that we make. So we need to put this within the then part of our promise. And we'll pass the value, the property and value of is following to set state. And we'll create is following in state set to false. Now for check follow, check follow will take auth and user. And from the user data, we can get all of a user's followers. So we can say user.followers. We'll use the find index array method to check to see if our currently auth user is part of that followers array. We'll say for each follower, we're going to take the followers ID and we're going to check to see if it's equal to auth.user.id and find index will return an index value. But if it's not able to find an index, it'll return negative one. So we want to make sure that this value is greater than negative one. And we can just return the value that we get like so. So now we're putting the is following value in state with the help of check follow. We can bring it down to our follow user component and pass it down as a prop. It is following, set to is following. And in follow user, we'll receive is following as a prop that will destructure from the props object. And we can use this value to determine a couple of things. Most importantly, the request that we want to make. So we can say const request, and we'll use a ternary to say if is following is true, we want to unfollow the user. Just write this in. We'll write this in quotes right now, but these represent functions will either unfollow user or follow the user. So we'll create these new functions in our API file in lib. We'll export const first follow user. And for this, we'll need just the follow ID of who we want to follow. So we'll await axios.put. This will be a put request to slash API slash user slash follow 
and we'll pass in a payload, an object with our follow ID. We'll get back data and we'll return it. And then for unfollow user, you can just change the name and the path will be unfollow. So in follow user, let's import both of these functions. And we'll put them in place where we put our strings before. So we've determined the request that we want to make based on the value of is following. Now we need to add our on click so that when we click on the button, we will call the appropriate function. So we'll make this an inline arrow function and we'll create a new function in our profile page called toggle user, I'm sorry, toggle follow that will take this request, the function saved in the request and actually execute it. So back in profile we need to create this toggle follow function. So toggle follow We'll take the request and we'll call it send request for whatever function we're executing. We're going to destructure auth and user ID from props. We'll also need is following from state. In fact, we won't need auth, we'll just need user ID. We want to send our request. So this will either be follow or unfollow user. We'll pass in the user ID, which will be the follow ID for follow user and unfollow user. And then once this is executed successfully, we're going to change set state. We're going to change the state with set state. We're going to say is following is the opposite of its previous value. So we can use that with the bang operator to change it to its opposite boolean value. Then we'll need to pass toggle follow down to follow user. And then in follow user we can receive it. And additionally we can change the color based on the is following value as well. So if we're following a given user we want to show the secondary color if we're not following them will show the primary color. And we'll also need to change the text of the follow button according to the is following value as well. All right, so let's give this a shot. We'll save everything and we'll refresh our page. Now let's try following Jack. We'll click on follow we can see the unfollow button. So it looks like our request was successful. Let me just take a look at the network tab. So if we go to name of the request called follow, looks like there's a new addition, new user ID in the followers array. So if we refresh to load Jack's profile one more time, we still see the unfollow button. And if we click unfollow, we see follow. So it looks like everything's working correctly. But just to be sure, let's continue to toggle it. And we'll leave it at unfollow. We'll go to our database and we'll sign in if we need to. And for these two users, Jack and Jen, Jack has a new follower. There's a new ID in his followers array, and Jen, if we look at her following array, we have Jack's ID.